This evening, I'll be doing my informative uh, report <clears throat> on The Daily Show, which is a, a, a bit comedy sketch show that's been around since the late 1990s. Uh, in media, there's never been an entity quite like The Daily Show uh, and its former host, Jon Stewart. Uh, with its fake news desk and uh, the, the very real personality staring out from behind it. Uh, the influence of the fake news source on American politics and discussion has been startling, and I firmly believe that the modern satire shows that derive themselves from The Daily Show are actually more reliable than most MSM shows, uh, mainstream media. Now, in the beginning uh, of July 21st, 1996, The Daily Show... Uh, would go 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 on to become rather so so it was just another show on Comedy Central until John Stewart took over as the host from Craig Kilborn, uh, and the show took off from there. He created an organization that straddled the intersection between satire, comedy, political commentary, and news, and a little bit of honest to god journalism because they even though they purport themselves not to be journalists, they really do hold themselves to high standards there. Some of his uh, field reporters, like uh, John Oliver in particular, Stephen Colbert, Samantha Bee, all really famous people now, uh, went on to create their own shows with dramatic effect. And uh, without fail, The Daily Show rose to receive a lot of reward for their daring pieces. Uh, the direct effects of The Daily Show uh, have affected the American discourse in pretty serious ways, the first of which being that there are an entire generation of people, myself included, who trust political satire shows derived from The Daily Show for news because their incentive is to make things funny, not really to play for a team, like you see with a lot of MSN or CNN or Fox News pieces. Now, The Daily Show often goes to bat for the public, uh, including one incident where the 9-11 first responders needed help, and John is highly regarded among their number because he came out of retirement at the end of 2015 to publicly shame government officials in the halls of Congress, he had a news team follow him around. It was wild. And with the advent of The Daily Show's popularity, many authors, public figures, and politicians were called to task on air. And John often lays on people he feels were egregiously abusive to their power. Like Judith Miller, uh, back in like 2004, 2005, who reported as a journalist and helped lead the U.S. into the Iraq War. Helped turn the public opinion to be favorable towards it. Without, she didn't question the uh, intelligence community, and it really affected the way we talked about it. <clears throat> or the time in 2008 with Jim Cramer, uh, the, the former host of the Mad Money TV show, who, who really lied to people about stocks and the stability of the housing market. John's platform, and it was at that point certainly his platform, was a way to openly question them, to catch them in their lies, and win a little bit of vindication through comedy and satire, because John would... The moment someone lied to him, he would, you know, just look at the back, wave to the cameraman, and have them roll a clip that would directly uh, argue against whatever they were saying, especially with Jim Cramer. <clears throat> Indirectly, The Daily Show has really spread far and wide if you consider its derivatives just branches of it. Uh, and with all the half-hour shows on television, uh, the members of John's crew, their, their writing staff in particular, went on to work on their own projects, and it's not hard to spot former members of the show making trouble on their own. <clears throat> There's even a reunion episode on uh, The Late Night with Stephen Colbert, where the cast shared their stories, including one about uh, Colbert almost getting murdered by the Klan. Uh, Samantha Bee, John Oliver, and Stephen Colbert, in particular, out of the writing crew, all have their own shows in which they host, and they use the platform for comedy and to better the political conversation like John would want them to. Uh, Samantha B commonly gives out information for people to contact their congressmen during commercial breaks. Stephen Colbert, <laughs> he testified to Congress in character once and holds rallies on off very often for activism. And uh, John Oliver in particular, he does absolutely wild things with the ridiculous resources given to him by HBO. Uh, from their, their origins on Comedy Central, Stewart and the talented people he works with have gone on to do incredible things and earn their place in the minds of younger audiences who desperately search for a news source that isn't playing for a team. In fact, a little over one in 10 people in America actually look to The Daily Show alone for their nightly news. Um, 
Under Stewart, The Daily Show is an Emmy Peabody award-winning show, and <clears throat> they're given many, many uh, commendations for outstanding entertainment. And the the brand of comedy that St Stewart talks about, that everyone who knows him reveres him for, is a sane, trustworthy way of talking about the the news and still being familiar to the people around them. 